Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, I want... I want to go to the stage builder and have a go at building that. I would actually recommend doing it in handheld though, because it's a lot easier to actually draw. Anyway, let me see if I can actually build something like this. Oh boy. Gotta make it big, backdrop. I'm probably gonna just use the regular backdrop because the other ones... I don't know, it doesn't really click as well with me. Just, the regular one looks good, so I'm gonna stick with that. But for the music, we can select whatever we want from what we've heard in the game so far and what we've unlocked. I wanna unlock all the rest of this, but I don't currently have it all unlocked. So let's go... where is it? I have a specific one in mind. I think it's in Donkey Kong. I wanna do... Oh, what's it called? Where? Is it... Oh, Gangplank Galleon. That's what's gonna play as we build our stage, I guess, now. I hope I can actually do this well enough like this. Yeah, in... in, uh... In handheld mode, you can use touchscreen controls, which is really useful. Uh, anyway, something we want to probably do straight away is actually... Which button is it? No, uh, layer view. Press minus. We can actually see that there's a actual grid now, which means that when we draw anything, it will actually be within the grid. Oh, this is so weird drawing like this, but I can't really do record it any other way. Uh, I think I want to do like that for, for now. So we need to have a base platform somewhere so that the characters spawning in will actually be able to spawn in. Uh, also, you want to make sure that you're drawing your pl actual platforms in this, on this uh, layer, so you can actually sound on it instead of it being background or even more background or foreground even, apparently. Uh, but yeah, I don't usually use any of the other ones just because it uses up so much um, object space because you can only have so much in the level. Which I don't know how the best to do that then. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to see if I can recreate a specific level that I've made in the past. I'm not sure how well I can do that though. Can I? No. How do I select? Oh, uh, edit. I want to... I can't actually remember the exact propor proportions that I need for this. But anyway, we can also raise anything like this if we want to by just tapping on it. Um, let me... These are all the different materials that we have. They're all basically the same though, except for stuff like ice, lava, and bouncy rubber. Because, uh, the ice is slippery, the lava hurts you. Uh, but the bouncy rubber actually has a different... A different power that we're probably not going to be able to show right now, but I'm going to explain it anyway. So, if you create a platform with bouncy rubber, just like, whatever, and then edit it and go into the things here. We can actually give it gravity and respawn. Which, uh, the respawn means that if it falls off the edge into the void, it can respawn back up here. Grabbable edges means that you can grab onto it, which is probably good. Uh, but anyway, if we just press OK now and uh, do test or play, we can see that it's actually bouncing around, which can get a little bit chaotic because that means there's another map that I want to make again. Oh, there it goes. And now it's going to respawn because that's what I set it to do. But yeah, if it, it specifically bounces a lot when it's been given gravity as a uh, bouncy rubber. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get rid of that for now. There's a, there's a lot of things to explain in this level creator, but I'm not sure how much of what I can actually explain now. Um, I'm gonna change a few things though, because we can also go to fill. If I can actually select it, this is... I'm not used to this. I'm gonna set that as that. Uh, and there's also... Some special items that we can put in, in here. We have the cannon, which if you pop into, can only have one person at a time. Will shoot you back up, or whatever direction you've... Uh, rotated it to. Spring, which will spring, bounce you. Warp zone is interesting though, because if we place it, it actually puts in two things. And basically, if we test, if we walk into one, it'll put us in the up, take a put, teleport us to the other. 
Uh, and then it won't be open for a little bit, so that's something else to keep in mind. But I don't want to keep that. Uh, the special objects do take up more of the space on the top of the screen here, which you can see. Uh, that bit, little, little bit there, that little icon, shows when there's too much stuff over that line, uh, you can't have eight players, you can only have four. And I'm going to try and stay under that line to keep up, keep the eight players, because I like eight players. But I can, I can understand why you want to use the rest of that space for just four players. Uh, but there's also bumper, which is a bumper. You touch it and it'll bounce you away from it in any direction that you touch it. Ladder is interesting, though, because we can actually do that with it. <laughs> Extend it however much we want. Uh, I'm going to place a bomb block, though. And then also a bomb block there with some explosive block attached to it. Uh, whenever something, an object is directly touching with another object like this floor and the block, a bomb block, it means that th those two are going to have the same rules as whatever is set to them. So if it's, if it's going to fall, then all of the objects attached to it is going to fall. We can also set wind, which I'm going to put up here, I guess. We can actually adjust the amount that the wind uh, blows, and also the direction that it does that. So, let's test this and show how it works. Oh, I need space on the platform. Why would you want space on the platform? That's silly. I'm gonna... I, I don't know where he wants me to put stuff right now. We can also select multiple things at once, so if I can get that... Those three things at the same time, please. Uh, we can rotate all the objects at once, or we can just move them out of the way. Okay, test. So if you press up on the ladder, it works as you would expect. If I can stop moving so fast, please. Actually, it just goes up if I hold up. There, cool. The wind blows you away from it, in the direction that you set it. Ah, uh, bomb blocks. We can break, and then they'll uh, respawn, I believe. Yeah. Ah, uh, but if we go over here, we can't break these exploding blocks. Uh, but we can break the bomb block connected to them, and it'll break the explosive blocks. So that's all that. And those are going to be important for this level that I'm trying to create right now. If I can manage to create it. It's probably not going to be as perfect as I'd like it to be, though. Uh, but basically, let's see if I can create a few things. Also, uh, with blocks actually connecting to each other, if you take away the the grid and then adjust the size you can actually make them so they're not quite oh touching each other also you have to be very careful with the size changing when their blocks are connected to each other which is a bit annoying to me okay good so I had a lot of trouble with this uh, especially with stuff connecting where I didn't want it to, and stuff moving when I didn't want it to, and all that. But eventually, I worked out that I need to have those little edges on the sides of the block to actually know what I'm actually doing. And also figured out that I didn't need to have the, the, uh, the blocks that break, which are connected to the bomb blocks. Don't need those. So this is where we actually start creating it. I had to cut out a huge chunk of not actually knowing what I was doing. Uh, so I made it like a T-shape around the edges of the blocks to try and get the idea of the shape so it would be where I needed it to be. And then I adjusted the size of the area that I just made so it would be slightly smaller than the area that I wanted it to be. Also tried to make them a little bit thicker so that they matched the, the, the blocks below them as well. Need to make sure it has gravity and respawn because that's the main thing with this. Also wanted to make sure it was designed so that only... You had to actually have them both explode to be able to actually have the block drop. I eventually got a, a good formula for making this level as well, which is good. Because I've, I've actually made it a few times now, just with uh, different um, materials out of, the, out of it. It did, it just took a long time to actually figure out what I was doing there. Ah, uh, but anyway, at this point, I wanted to make the second level up. Ah, uh, because we're going to do three layers of basically the same thing, just getting smaller each time it gets further up. Ah, uh, the main idea for the stage was basically just Donkey Kong.
The testing is very useful because there's the play that allows you to see which one's going to drop first. Uh, and all that. Because I wanted to work, make it so, like, if you hit one, it's not going to fall off. If, but if you hit the other one first, it might also just drop off too quickly. So I need to hit both of them uh, in different orders to try and make sure that they drop, but also don't drop on their own. It was very finicky, but I, I got there in the end, so... And I'm very happy to have it again, because this is this is my favorite level that I've created in this mode. So the main blocks on the sides, which we have... Uh, so the main blocks on the sides are sized 9x3. And then the blocks in the middle, which are the T-blocks, I guess. Uh, the bottom one is 32x5. The second floor is, I believe, 24x5. And the top floor is 14 by 5. So all about the same size, just with different, slightly different measurements to make sure it actually works quite well. Uh, I eventually also figured out that the bombs worked quite well within the grid to line up with the platform. And that's what made it really, like, work, basically. Because before, when I was trying to have them in weird positions outside of the grid, they just wouldn't line up properly and the platform wouldn't fall the way I wanted it to. But it was a lot more doable with it inside of the grid. Also, in the editor, if you use the D-pad buttons, it allows you to undo or redo something that you've done, just in case you need to undo something and fix it up. And with this level being the same thing in three layers, it means that the top block, if it falls down, it needs the second block the middle block to be out of the way, or to also fall after it, after it, to fall down to the bottom block, which, when that falls out, everything drops down. And that's the, that's the aim for this level. You can also kind of hit the blocks above, which is quite helpful. And sometimes when the blocks fall down, they fall weirdly, but they always fall down the way that I, I, I intend them to, so. Even if it's slightly wonky sometimes, it still works quite well. I just had to make sure that the side blocks lined up as well with each other on each row or layer. Just to make sure that they lined up about the same on each time. Since each one is slightly further inward than the other ones. So I finally made it. It's I, once I figured out that you had to, I had to build it with the draw um, tool and make the little side T bits, and then put build it like this. Then it it just worked really. But basically, it's a pretty cool idea that I came up with somehow, uh, where if you destroy the blocks, the bomb blocks, uh, in the whatever order you do it, it makes the actual everything fall down differently. Which means that if I go over here and destroy that one... Like, yeah, you can actually make the different patterns appear depending on which way you actually destroy... Or what order you destroy the blocks, which I think is pretty cool. It's also funny because the computers have no idea what to do... If a block is falling into the void. Because they just stand on it... And they die. Even in... Uh, regular Smash... They won't jump off of it quickly enough to survive, so... This is a level that I really enjoy to create across different, um, like whenever, when I've, I've made it twice, so, but yeah, I'd like, I like it, so, I'm just gonna move this a little bit more out. I guess the original theming of it was actually Donkey Kong style, with the breaking the bits off, but there we go, that's all that, and I even have space for actual background stuff as well, which I probably don't actually need. But I could do something like, uh, like that, just across the entire background. It's probably not actually worth doing. But, yeah, I mean, I can. And actually, I think that's the wrong layer. I'm going to do it on the background background. And you also can't have stuff right up against the edge of the the red line. Sometimes, it, it depends on what the object is, but sometimes it just doesn't like it. 
and it's really weird because the the physics of the the editor just make it really weird in general so but there we go let me quickly just see how that looks with the with the wall i guess that's not that much better with the wall there i was going for like the black background for donkey kong thing but no i, I don't like it i'm just gonna keep it like this uh the other thing uh now that i can press plus to save so I can save this, and, uh, I can name it what I called it last time. DK, 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 DK. <laughs> Sorry, that's a great video. Oh, I've ran out of space, that's fine. I'll just do it like that. Uh, but I want to change the music to something else, probably. I can't, I don't know what else to actually... I, I, I saw this earlier and I thought about it. Uh, Snakey Shanty. Uh, let me s Yeah, this is probably gonna work. I mean, it kind of works for this. Also, I like how you can go from beneath to destroying it. Also, it's quite entertaining with um, eight players, so I should probably do that in a second here. Also, you can get stuck underneath some of these things sometimes, so you have to be careful of that. But yeah, this is a level that I enjoyed making the first time, so I'm glad I get to do it again and show you how to do it. Even if it is extremely painful to figure out, but then once you have it figured out, it works. <laughs> also, he's stuck. So the thing about this is, if you break a bomb block and then uh, so, uh, a, play a fighter or the object, a uh, different block, is in the way, it can't respawn the bomb. So if I move out of the way, the bomb returns, but yeah. It won't allow stuff to respawn until everything's destroyed, basically. So now, let's save that. Keep that forever. I'm never gonna restart my save file now. I'm not allowed to. But now, I want to go... over to Smash. And now, let's use our normal rule set that I set. And let's go to Custom. And DK, 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 DK. How many... I don't know how many times I said DK, but I hope it was the right amount. Okay, let's put in... eight players. This is going to be a little bit chaotic, but I want to do it. Let's go. I'm excited to play this again. I'm glad that I actually managed to recreate it, because I was worried that when I deleted all of my save data that it would, I wouldn't be able to rebuild it, but I made it, so... There's a few other ones I'm probably going to try and recreate as well. I might actually keep the bit that I actually made the level in uh, as a separate unlisted video which I will uh, link to somewhere. Probably in the card thing. I don't know if I actually am going to focus that much to do that, though. Ooh, item. Oh, no, that's not good for me. But yeah, this is a little bit chaotic, especially because uh, if a block lands on top of somebody else and there's a block underneath them, they actually get pushed through the bottom of the block and they'll just fall down. So that's a little bit chaotic. Just going to break that. Oh, give me the Pokeball. Give me the Pokeball. Good. Good. Great. Excellent. If I just... Oh, boy. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Let me just get rid of that and clear out everything. And everyone restarting everything in the room. This is actually working out really well. Especially the music. I can't remember what I actually used for the music last time. I don't think it was shake, Snaky Shanty. Shanty. I think it was actually, um... What is it? Cold. I can't remember. I think it's something Sonic related, possibly. Although I think that's actually a different one that I'm thinking about as well. The other level that I want to make. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Also a real Smash Ball, so I'm going to grab that if I can, please. Ow. Oh, lightning bolt. Why? Can I also get back on the platform, please? Oh, somebody's been defeated. But also, I'm going to break that and get rid of... Oh, the other one's still there. I 
didn't realize that, but it might get destroyed. There it goes. <laughs> and there goes the person that was standing on it. Goodbye. Also, whenever somebody uses a Final Smash, it will freeze any moving blocks or objects, so it can't actually ruin your day completely. Okay, everyone's getting defeated at the moment. I just like dropping people off the edge. It doesn't count as a kill though, so you don't get as much of a reward or anything, but in like uh, multiplayer competitive, it could be really good. Oh, bomb -bom, I'm gone. It's a good thing that I still have all my stock left. Oh boy. Oh, bad. I'm just gonna stay down here where they can't really get to me quickly. Oh, somebody knocked them off! Perfect. This is why I love this level that I've made. Oh, also, this is a... Sonic's Final Smash is interesting because it just drops... It breaks everything. This is actually really cool. Even cooler than I thought. Oh boy. Give me the Pokeball. Okay, 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 okay. Can I drop that, please? Okay. I think the bottom two are both intact still, which is unfortunate. I like having the, the ability to just destroy everything in existence. I like being the one next to the kill everything button. Goodbye. He's gone. Yeah, I might have to figure out a better song for this, but I don't remember what I used last time, so it's difficult to work it out. I mean, this is a cool song for it, but also... Could be something... It doesn't fit quite right. It's close, but not... Perfect. Also, can I not die, please? I'm gonna get that item, though. Oh, it was a fake. Oh, goodbye. Also, I have three points from KOs, apparently. Next to my character icon. Bye, Sonic. Nope, he's back. Okay, he's actually doing better than anyone else. What is that item gonna be? Okay, just a... a thing. Ooh, Smash Ball. I'll take that, please. Thank you. How did that miss you? Also, some characters can actually activate the ones above them, but I don't know if I can here or not. Also, I might actually have made the platforms a little bit thicker than I did originally. Oh, hello, dragon. Oh, it's gonna be a tie or something. Yeah, here we go. Sudden death. I'm gonna just avoid you if I can, while the screen gets smaller. And also break that. Yeah, but there we go. Sudden death is a little bit... Hit or miss. It's, yeah, I'm not very good at... Uh, sudden death. But there we go, that is my custom level. 304 gold. Actually, I should explain what we can use the gold for. Okay. So... Also, hey, we got some stuff for battling. 3,000 gold, and... yeah. Cool. Well, that was that. Crazy stuff. Uh, let's see. So we go back here, and we can go to the vault. No. Where is it? Where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, is this... The, no, it's not. I'm so confused. Oh, shop. I'm blind. Cool. So, in the shop here we can actually buy... ...stuff. Usually, spirits are here as well, just for... ...um... ...coins. You get coins from Smash Fights, and yeah. We're gonna have to be checking the shop every now and then to spend all, all of our coins on remaining spirits that we don't have yet. And all the rest. And now I guess I'm going to start working on another map, and then I'll be back to show you that one. So here we go with our next level. This one's a little bit crazier than the other one. 
This one's just basically me ex was experimenting with uh, the materials that you can use and decided to do some mad things with it. Mostly ice and also a whole bunch of bouncy blocks and stuff that just goes all over the place. Just everything everywhere. I mean, it's a little bit chaotic, but it's also a lot of fun to just do sometimes. I imagine it'll be a lot better with uh, human players, though, rather than computers, because the computers have no idea how to get around all the blocks on the screen. This is basically how a fair bit of my levels go, is I, I try something chaotic, and it just... I leave it like it, like it is, and just go with it. Even though it's really messy, but I like it, so... I also set up a portal so if that you fall down, you can get back up. But also I set up a little bit of wind to help you get back in. Some characters are better at getting back in than others, but it means that if you just get pushed through the ground, you're not always gonna die instantly. Uh, but there's still a chance of dying. As I said, this is a mess, but I'm, I try to make it work. I had the rails that moved the blocks around uh, the main platform blocks underneath the thing. I had those move at different speeds so that they would shuffle around and make everything go even crazier. Also, I believe originally I was going to have one of the gears to rotate the main platform and have that make everything bounce around. But I found having the platforms underneath made it a lot better to just have it go in this direction of madness. I also tried to have some curved edges on some of the blocks, which is done by using a, uh, a circle and, uh, instead of using my draw, draw ability. Uh, but it's not the best way to do it, I don't think. I think this level I could probably put a lot more time into it to try and make it a lot better. I also tried changing some of the materials, but it didn't really work very well. All of the blocks need gravity and respawn so that they can respawn if they need to, if they fall off the edge of the main platform. And also so that they go all over the place. Okay, so now that that's done, let's take a look at it. And let's go into Blender. Again, I'm probably going to add as many players as possible just to add to the chaos. And let's choose Kirby. Oh boy, here we go. Blender was a bit of a silly idea. Just a little bit. I don't know if I've... I don't think I've created it anywhere near as good as my original version. But this will have to do. And it seems, it seems, it has the basic concept down pretty well. Kirby, Shulk, Zelda, Ice Climbers, oh boy, I'm up here now. Not for much longer though. Welcome to the Blender. <laughs> it's a little bit all over the place. In the original version though, there was actual not uh, bouncy rubber pieces. But in this version, I for the, because I couldn't fit any more objects in, I just made them all bouncy rubber. I might actually edit it because some of the ones that have the uh, the, the spherical s sides, I might edit that to back to normal. Also, you can get crushed uh, and pushed through the level, just like the I mentioned. Uh, and actually, this is actually a good level for Kobe to just up smash or up special kick, whatever it is. Because it just you just move around with the entire level. Actually, it might be good to make some of these blocks uh, made of ice. But anyway, if you, if you fall down below, there's actually some air down the bottom that I've placed that should help you get over to the portal, which will bring you back. So there's no really falling out unless you're one of the computers and you don't know how wind works and you just kill yourself, but you know. Also, Zelda's just floating there, so I don't know how well that's working out. Also, just don't even worry about uh, Pokemon and assist trophies because they will just go. How did that miss? Oh my goodness. I need to make sure I don't die. What are you doing? I think I need to angle it more uh, to the side so that they actually get pushed towards the teleporter. 
portal. Also, this song just works really well for um, Blender because it's rooftop run. Also, I think I need to let leave more space on the sides to fall for blocks to fall through. I'm down here now. This works for me if I'm just going to be able to take out my enemies from down there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it needs some adjustments, but this is a pretty good rough recreation of the original blender that I made. <laughs> oh my goodness, please. Please let me out of here. There are quite a few uh, Smash Bros stages that I made on my original profile, but having lost them all, there are only a few that I'd really want to recreate like this one. And, uh, DK, 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 DK. Everyone's down here. Oh my goodness. I'm dead. That's a shame. That's what happens when I try to attack the enemies that are underneath the world. Can I get that star? Grabbing items is just super difficult. Oh my goodness. Oh, if I, if I went through the portal... With that. Also, there's a the bat. No, there's a home run bat item, which if you grab it and then charge it up and hit somebody with it, it's an instant kill. Basically, it just sends them flying out of the world. Can I please get out of the ground? Oh my goodness! Oh, well, the smash ball is gone. That's a shame. Okay, it's absolute chaos in here. I need to change it to make it more bouncy. I think actually. Because the the platforms at the bottom are moving at separate speeds, which makes it a little bit more random when stuff happens. Ah, uh, but it's not going crazy enough, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I should put the make those platforms bouncy, and then absolute chaos will ensue. Oh my goodness! I'm glad I wasn't in that. Hey look, an assist trophy. That's going to be super helpful in here when they get pushed through the floor. There it goes. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Wish items could get pushed by the wind and then teleported back. Hammer? Hammer? Hammer time, please. Hammer time. Thank you. It's also quite difficult to actually get thrown out of bounds because there's walls on the other side holding the platform in place. Also, imagine if those walls weren't there and you just slid off. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh hey, I've got my smash. Gotta grab that full heal though. Ah, mountain. It's a bad time to be in the ground. <laughs> oh my goodness, please. If I could, if I had Nintendo Switch Online, I would definitely put this up. Although I don't think I can, actually, maybe? I don't know, but I've made a video about how to, how, where I created it, so that's probably good enough. Oh my goodness. Nope, the item went down the drain. Oh, we're about to run out of time. Uh, who's doing the best right now? I think, oh, it's just me and you. And you. Oh my goodness, there's two other characters. Well, if I could not fall out of bounds, that'd be great. That'd be great. That would be so great. No, the camera's zooming in. Ah! I was a little bit dead. Also, I just realized I could also make the, um, the rails that move objects. I could make those taller, which would make everything slide around a whole lot more. Oh my goodness, bad ideas are the best. I'm sure you can agree. Anyway, I think with that, that is it for now with the stage builder. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Probably not crazy Smash Bros stuff.